test. test oh hi how's it going I'm doing all right I don't know if I had this uh, corner camera thing working last time um, I'm upping my game the uh, virtual camera for some reason doesn't work but I can do a windowed projector version of what I see, and then I can share that window. <laughs> but I can't do a virtual camera, so that's kind of funny. But I got this working. See if you can uh, get that working. Um, the, have the button go, uh, to the unhover color when the mouse goes off of the button by going out of the window completely. Um, and I'll just give you the idea that it's possible, <laughs> um, cause I did it.
I didn't already know how to do it. I didn't reason my way to it. Yeah, I looked it up on the internet. You can set the position of the mouse? That seems kind of dangerous. <laughs> like, as soon as somebody's mouse gets close to the close button, move it. <laughs> Uh, returns the X and Y position. Position is relative to the top left corner of the display. The cursor position can be located outside of the display window, but is always constrained to the screen. I don't know. Maybe try calling that function and printing what it returns, and then move the mouse around and see what it says. So that's giving you zero when you go off the left-hand side of the screen. Um, so seems like you can't really distinguish between the mouse is on the leftmost pixel versus it went off of the screen. Uh, yeah, I was able to, there's a, I was able to determine whether the mouse was on the window.
looks like you pasted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoops. So, what did you? So you just did. Did it? If the mouse goes off the screen entirely. <laughs> All right. Uh, so think about what uh actually I'll just I'll just uh watch <laughs> um maybe Read the description. Check if the display is receiving mouse input. Get focused is a Boolean. Return true. Returns true when Pygame is receiving mouse input events or in windowing terminology is active or has the focus. This method is most useful when working in a window. By contrast, in full screen mode, this method always returns true. pygame.mouse.getfocused You can put an open parenthesis just after the word if if you want to do things on multiple lines and then a close parenthesis just before the colon And then you can break it up onto the condition onto multiple lines. Yep. So you're saying if the pygame dot get but pygame dot mouse dot get focused. So if the window has focus or the rectangle collide point mouse position, so the mouse is not over the button, if either of those are true, then set the button to the normal color. Move, uh, make it so you can see the, the window and your code at the same time. And then um, think about the condition there and move your mouse around and see if, if it uh, makes sense.
Um, add in the open parenthesis after the if. Nice. So, uh, in some sense, it doesn't matter what I used. If get focused does the job, then if I used something different, then that doesn't super matter. Um, I think I did use get focused, though. Uh, yeah. Um, and I inverted the logic because then I don't need knots here. I said, when do I want to show the hover color? Otherwise, show the normal color. Me too. Not a huge difference. Um, I guess, so I, when I wrote it, I wasn't really thinking, oh, I'm going to write what the hover color is. I was, I was thinking, I don't want this to have negatives in it. <laughs> How do I do that? And then the answer was to flip these two, or at least that's an answer I came up with. I'm sure, let's see, I don't know. You could probably flip it around if, I don't know. Not hugely important. Um, cool. So now it is the right color at the right time. And let's go get them. Uh, we wanted to, now that we have a button and we can tell when the mouse is over the button, we can detect if we click the button. Let's see. Determine if the mouse is even on the window at all. So we've done that now. Yay. Uh, that's this. Um, yeah, this is probably a good idea. I think uh, we just had display, I think. Check if the display is receiving mouse input. So the way that it actually works now is when they say, is the display receiving input, they mean the this thing, which I would call the window, um, unless we're using... So, like, slightly more accurate would be to call this, well, no, yeah, this, I would call this a window, and, but they call it a f uh, display, and I would call my entire screen the display, so, I think, uh, Seems to be what I would call window or frame. Um, and not my entire monitor. Like this is what I mean by display. What about you? Okay. All right, cool. Um, so, okay, so now we should check, let's see, make buttons to change the ball in some way. So now we should check, uh, well, what should we do? We 
we have a button class. We're able to make a button appear on the screen. Where do we actually do that here? So we're able to put like how big it is and where it is and what shows up on it. Uh, what else do you want a button to do? Um, yeah, I like that. Uh, so going left, right, up, or down. So if it's pressed, it should do something. Um, uh, if it's pressed, it should do something. Okay, uh, let's make that happen. Um, how do we detect if it is pressed? Don't some buttons have, like, I mean, some mice, don't some mice have, uh, like, a bajillion buttons on them? Not in Pi game. Okay, um, actually, they probably just show up as, like, keyboard events in Pi game. Um, we were following a, a web page, right? Uh, I wonder, <laughs> I wonder if I took notes on where, what that web page is, uh, or if maybe we can find it again. Um, I appear to have lost it. Oops. Oh, shoot. I just noticed the audio for you is not working at all. Well, that sucks. It, I thought I saw it work earlier. Oh, but I paired my headphones. Can you say something? Hello? Yep. Dang it. Well, that's half an hour of no audio from you. Uh, um. Make buttons to change the ball in some way. Yeah, I don't see the website. All right, so... Let's, uh, uh, I think it's probably worth trying to find the website and see what they did. Uh, we could also try and think about, uh, that, th the documentation that we were just looking at and see if we can come up with how would we use get pressed to, but it's, uh, so, so to, to do the whole mouse detecting stuff. It's uh, saying something about pygame.event.wait. Actually, uh, that, I think we already have that somewhere in the code. No? Didn't, don't we have that in here? pygame.event.get. Get. 
remember to call pygame.event.get before this function. Otherwise, it will not work as expected. Okay, so we have that. If event type equals pygame.quit. So they say um, to get all of the mouse move, mouse events, it is better to use pygame.event.wait or pygame.event.get and check all of those events to see if they are mouse button down, mouse button up, or mouse motion. Okay. Oh, is that the web page? Mm hmm. Yeah, I just like I put this in print so it's, it's literally as long as your mouse is held down, then it the pie game will keep saying true. Um, if you want to see that again, um, here I'll go. So you put uh. Let's see, in process, in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Where did you put it? You put it here. Um, print pi game dot mouse dot get pressed mm -hmm. so, so it's on the screen and you keep on holding like down it will be true or the first value will be true yeah clicking and then right right not click. clicking clicking not clicking right clicking and oh one two three i think I'm guessing middle number two. Oh, I have an actual middle click. I uh, can click on my scroll wheel. Yeah, nice. So, left click, right click, scroll wheel, middle click, which makes a lot of sense. This is the left one, this is the right one, this is the middle one. So... Mm -hmm. Yep. So, like, I think the, not obvious, but it would just be like, if pygame dot get pressed, uh, zero. Like, I don't even know how to get those values, but like, if that is true, and it's the mouse position, the mouse position, and the is on the on the button, do whatever. But the only thing that's not um that i can see it not working is if you're holding it down and then it go to that and then you move your mouse to that place that would also kind of a click but i don't think you want that um so um so uh then Maybe let's ignore that case to start with. Yep, sounds good. <laughs> My green screen is all noisy today. The color must be slightly different. I guess it's cloudier outside. I wonder if that makes a difference. Maybe. Okay, so if Pi game. I'll start get. Like, do you go like <laughs> zero? Like, uh, how do you get first value from this? Uh, yep. 
zero will give you left click. Oh. So this notation works, like parentheses and Yeah. Brackets. Oh, interesting. So whatever's to the left of the square brackets um, is considered uh, what is being indexed by the square brackets or sliced or whatever you're doing with square brackets. So in this case, this whole thing is evaluates to a tuple with these three things in it. So if you put the square brackets right after this whole thing, then you're indexing this whole thing. What what was your question? No, oh, no, I was just saying, is this valid? Instead of going over, I guess you could make this this whole thing into another, like you could put this into a variable. Um, well, I just said if the color is equal to it, hover. Yeah, uh, let's see. So what are the different color options that we have? So we have normal, hover, pressed. I feel like these three are mutually exclusive. It should be only one of them. And if that is the case, then the way this that would code... Actually, wait, yeah. That would actually be good, because then... And then I set this color to pressed. Right? So then once I press it once, it acts as one press. At least for this code. Because after one press, the color won't equal hover. If I change it to pressed. <laughs> so you're talking about detecting when the when it goes from up to down i think like the very first frame where we can tell that the mouse button is being held down um so you have uh if my oh, wait, that doesn't really solve mouse the problem dot get pressed oh that makes it so it only goes for one frame never mind that that was wrong oh I okay um so i think because you only ever want one of these three colors the code should look like if some condition, elif, some other condition, and else. Uh, if some condition, do hover. Elif, some other condition, do normal. And then else, do pressed. Um, and maybe that's, maybe it won't be in that order. Maybe it'll be in a slightly different order, but uh roughly speaking it should be if condition uh hover elif another condition another color oop else last color something like that <laughs> so uh first but i feel like it's not really an l color if, unless because because for it to be pressed it has to have a hover like is that really is it ever going to be the hover color and the pressed color? Uh, oh, I guess not. It might be 
In fact, it probably is the case that the logic for the two conditions is going to be very similar. And so maybe you could do, um, like, there's going to be, I don't know, so condition and condition two. Oops. And then here, another condition and condition two. And then this could be reworked to look like if condition two, then if condition uh, first color uh, else. another color else last like maybe something like that will end up being true so the common condition between the two of them can get lifted up to be an outer condition and then to and then that'll let you know that it's one of these two uh, and then inside you can determine which one by having another if, and then you could either use this or this to determine which of those it was um, for this spot here. You can either use condition or another condition to distinguish between them. Um, yeah, I could see that. Okay. Well, I already written out the bottom option. Um. Um. Okay. So mouse on screen, on button. Oh, you made a. Yeah, condition, I just condition a name for. That condition. I made a um, name for if condition and condition. So, mouse on window, so, mouse on, what did you, screen on button, oh, I can, mouse I can... on button, equals, mouse on window, and, I guess this. So, uh, so we want, uh, okay, so then you have LAF, man. mouse on button and uh, um, pi game dot mouse dot get pressed then we have color is equal to self dot color colors uh, pressed is that what we call it yeah that's what we called it cool does it work no. Why not? I'm not sure. Let's see. Have the window and your code side by side. 
Um, let's see. Oh, okay, I see. Because if mouse on screen is already true, then it skips the other elif. Right? Kind of? Yeah. So, okay. if this so... is... If mouse on button is true, then it does this one, and it doesn't try any of the rest. So, it does the hover, and then it skips checking for pressed or normal. We're going to go to your second second option. Okay. Um, so you have... If... Oh. Uh, here. Nice. So let's move that up there. Uh oh. Uh, if mouse on button and uh, get pressed. Sorry, no, can I use not. the restroom real quick? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm back. Hey. So... <clears throat> Do we have the same logic here? Because it's not working for me. Mine... Uh, I'm going to change the colors so I can tell. Oh, yeah, it is just uh, gray and a darker gray or white. Okay. Um... Yeah, it seems to it seems on mine. I think it's always the pressed color. Uh, mouse on the screen on button. I think that's my mouse on button. Mouse on screen on button and pygame dot mouse dot get pressed. Mm. Oh, at index zero. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, cool. That was my issue. Uh, let's try that. A nice. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> you can actually, uh, so if this is true, this uh, mouse is on the button or over the button or whatever um mm. then it's mm -hmm, still true mm -hmm. here <laughs> so we don't need that um yeah
Um. So now we can detect when it's pressed, but like I said mm -hmm. earlier, it's still it uh, it will still be like I'm pressing now and then I wait I'm pressing now and I go onto the thing and it detects it as a press. So yeah, <clears throat> I think that's why they were doing the whole the the tutorial was doing like the whole. Like one press, like this stuff. Yeah, when the button goes from, uh, some not pressed state to the pressed state, we want some action to happen right on that frame. That would be we have here an on click. And then, as long as it continues being pressed, we want to keep doing whatever this is. Um, we probably we probably want to focus on just this one. That's probably the more intuitive thing. Like, you press the button and the ball gets a boost. Um, and yeah. it doesn't fly off the screen. <laughs> yeah. Because... Technically, you held it for like five frames, and if you add a 10 speed boost for five frames, now you've added 50 speed boost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But five frames isn't very long, so it's, it's easy to do that. It's hard to not do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so... We need some way to detect when the mouse, like, goes, like, yeah, we, we want to make sure that we have one frame in that scenario where this happens. Um, oh, we can look, uh, nope, not that one, this one? Yeah, here, Oop. Uh, there we go. Oh man. <laughs> All right, that's my middle clicks. There we go. Okay, so we want to detect this spot right here. Mm hmm. Well, and the mouse is on the button. Okay. So that would just be, like, how would you check that? It's like, well, just in, like, regular term, like, words, it would be like, if the false turns to true, but, like, the true that turn, like, the true that turned true after it was full, like i don't know like it's that true it can't be like if it's true after you like the tr if it's true after false but it's like that true is what we're looking for <laughs> if that makes sense yeah um, so it has to be the true that comes right after a false which means we need to remember what it was last time Oh, 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 oh. We just do what we did with the ball and the position. Oh, yeah, we did do something like that. So what did we do with the ball and the position? Oh, oh, yeah, you just set it equal. You just let the self, you just do the prior equal to what it is and then what it is is what it is oh 
Oh wait. Oh, no, here we doesn't, go. Doesn't need to be here. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say? All right, none, nothing. I was just saying that the in it did not need to be. I didn't have to put it in the in it. So now that I'm looking at this, I realize. Well, I I wonder if this is necessary. I think it might be possible to just do this. This line here, uh, self dot prior center is equal to self dot center instead of these two lines. Self dot prior center dot x is equal to self dot center dot x, and self dot prior center dot y is equal to self dot center dot y. Um, I don't know. I'll leave that as a to do. Uh, can we do this next? line instead of the two lines after but yeah uh something like remembering what the prior mouse pressed state is pressed uh so mouse dot get pressed Mm. Okay. Do we have an in it for button? You oh should. yeah, we totally do. Cool. Oh, <laughs> this X and Y here should totally be a vector two D. Put that as a oh. to do also. That's kind of funny. Oh, oh, for the button. Okay, actually, that's we were just following the thumb. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Thumb. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. The five minute bell went off a little bit ago. Okay. Um, maybe make a commit. Uh, where things currently stand. Oh, okay. I might have not done a commit in a while. Yeah, I'll go through the whole um, get add dash dash p right. Mhm. Mm uh, one dash get add dash p. If you want to. Uh, add little bits at a time. It's really overcast right now. And oh, the wow. weather's been weird. The, I didn't even commit the button before. Oh, that's a lot. I wonder if my... This thing... Yeah, it's going. Okay, cool. Or the rolling. Oh, wow, that's old. <laughs> uh, Pick uh something small and make a commit out of it. <clears throat> pick something um, small and then commit everything like and by something small I mean something that doesn't involve very many lines of code let's and then, do um don't worry I got rid of the drilling space so um Something small. So. Uh, yeah, those four lines. They're pretty self-contained. We just started it at a different location. Okay. For some reason. Oh, we were testing bouncing, I think, and so we wanted it to start off lower. <laughs> uh, the transition from bouncing to rolling. 
I think that's what was going on there. And then, can I do quit Q? Yeah. After I did my one yes. Yep. And then that one hunk is now staged for commit. Um, what is... Okay, so I have it on source hut. I uh I think I didn't post a link last time. Maybe I did. Oh, I wonder if I can browse source hut through EWW. Uh Oh, sh what happened? Oh, okay, wait, wow. I... Mm. Okay, I need to go, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, yeah. we'll... Maybe we'll just start off at committing next time, uh, yeah. here. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. Alright. Bye. Bye-bye.